Hey guys, um, figure while I'm on a roll I may as well continue doing these, so I will do something uh, that is close to my heart. This is one of the favorite guns that I have. Uh, it is a Lapco Grey Ghost. Uh, this is number 395. I uh, bought it about three years ago, um, straight from Lapco. <clears throat> it's fantastic. I wanted a pump gun, um, and <laughs> this is probably one of the nicest pump guns I've ever used. Um, it, after, after tax and shipping, um, and after getting the, uh, um, the hopper adapter, uh, it ended up coming to something like 430 bucks. Uh, I got it for my birthday. Uh, it's kind of a birthday present to myself. I asked my friends to contribute where they could, but I told Lapco it was for my birthday, and uh, they covered the shipping themselves. They sent it, like, uh, what's it called? Expedited shipping, and they paid for it themselves. And they put a little note on the box that said, Happy Birthday. So, you know, that was pretty nice. I've had nothing but good experiences with Lapco. Uh, customer service is really good. The products are really high quality. Um, so this guy, um, so Lapco started making paintball guns in the 1980s, uh, and their most popular one, and the only one that I know of, was the Grey Ghost. And originally, when they made the Grey Ghost, it wasn't metallic like this. It was it was grey. It was gray, like, uh, I can't see anything here that is an example of something that's gray, but it was just like a, a gray polished metal. Um, it wasn't even polished, it was kind of just matte. Um, you know, you could get a whole bunch of really cool accessories, like these you could get wood, this you could get wood. Um, now they're just kind of this Delrin plastic. Um, it's nice plastic, I mean, you know, feels good, it just kind of, you know, conforms, it, it just fits so well. Uh, maybe it's because I'm a, a large guy, I'm six foot one, but it fits really well. And this is the stock, stock that it comes with, um, so this just comes with the gun. Um, so, yeah, so in the 80s, Lapco made the Grey Ghost. Uh, it was, you know, it was popular, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like Tipman's are today, right? It was, it was just a popular pump gun. Um, and one of the things that Lapco became very well known for, uh, pump players will be familiar with what's called an auto trigger. Uh, so if you hold the, hold the trigger down, you can kind of just boom, 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 and you don't have to, you don't have to cock it, pull, cock it, pull. Uh, so one of the things that Lapco figured out how to do was a locking auto trigger. So you, it's a nice slide trigger. So you push the trigger back, and I'm going to push the safety in, and then watch. The trigger stays in. It's a locking auto trigger. So you can. Sometimes I hold it up at the front just to get extra stability. But, you know, for a, watch, for a pump gun, this thing can rip. <laughs> um, when it was first produced, your only option was the, the stock class uh, feed neck. Um, and the when did they start producing the second run? I think it was 2006, 2005. Lapco decided they were going to start producing the second run of Grey Ghosts. Um, this was purchased in like 2011, um, and it was number 395. So that's six years of production, and they made less than 400 of them. A um, couple differences, uh, the barrel is 
now a Lapco Big Shot Barrel. Uh, this is the only way you can get a chrome Big Shot. Um, it's spider threaded, so any spider threaded barrels will fit into this paintball gun. Um, it still has all the brass fittings that the where the fuck am I pointing? Here, here, and here, and there's one on this side. Uh, they're all brass fittings and they screw right into the body. Um, so you you want to be careful that these don't fall out because uh, you know as you're playing they will loosen up. Uh, so you kind of want to you know get in the habit of just making sure everything's tight, but at the same time you don't want to make it too tight uh, because then you can strip the body and then you're fucked. Um, what else? The locking auto trigger, I think at first, uh, no, they always did that since the 80s. Um, yeah, they kind of just made this as a, a retro throwback. It's a Nelson style pump, so it works pretty much exactly like a, uh, a, a Phantom. Um, it only comes in this color. It is more expensive than a Phantom, um, but it is smoother than a Phantom. Um, it's just... everything is just spot on. And it's, it's no Carter, but it's pretty fucking close. Um, now, people with Carters are gonna say, you're an idiot. But, man... You know, you want to spend 1200 bucks on a pump gun, then yeah, sure. A Carter's pretty fucking nice. But for 430 bucks, this is... It's nice. It You know, it's got its pitfalls, like these can come loose. You have to make sure that they're on there. Um, at first, this was not an option. Uh, this was something that Lapco released after... I think they released it in like 2008 or something as an option to put on. Do, 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 do. How does it go? Goes on here instead of the stock, um, the stock class thing. Um, I've used it. Um, I actually prefer the stock class. I prefer the quick release. I don't like having. Uh, a giant CO2 tank. I mean, this thing weighs nothing. It weighs absolutely nothing. And you can just, you know, you're like the little light infantry that goes ahead of everyone and just kills everyone. It's amazing. No one expects it. It is dead accurate. Um, extremely predictable ball spread. Um, it basically shoots the same place every time you pull the trigger. Um, I have not, uh, re chronied this, or I haven't adjusted the velocity. So how you adjust the velocity is it comes with one of these, right? So you insert this into the barrel and you adjust, uh, the valve, uh, to the pressure tension you want. And once, you know, it works basically like a regulator adjusting the regulator directly right in the barrel uh, and that's how you change the velocity I haven't done that since I got it from lap coat each one of these is tested by the guy who designed them um, and when I got this I took it out to a summer game I cronied it it was shooting about 250 <laughs> I'm not even kidding you on a hot day it will get a hundred paintballs to a 12 gram. A hundred paintballs to a 12 gram. That is ridiculous. It is ridiculously efficient. Um, ridiculously efficient. It looks awesome. It just looks so badass. I mean, someone runs up on you like this, you know. I've got a video on YouTube uh, I think it's called Lapco Grey Ghost Runs the Show. I did a belly crawl through shrubs next to a road for half an hour, popped up in the middle of an enemy base, and then got, I think, like six or seven people out <laughs> just from mercying them. And, you know, a large portion of that is because 
You can just, you know, you can throw this. You can do whatever the hell you want. It's a pump gun. It's not going to break. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just talk a little bit about this. Um, I don't think Lapco makes them anymore. Uh, I think they have stopped producing them. I think they stopped about a year ago. They might have some overstock flying around. Uh, if you can grab one. It's a pretty nice pump gun. It's pretty unique. Um, it's almost like there's this Grey Ghost Owners Club thing that whenever you see someone else, uh, or whenever someone sees you uh, that is a Grey Ghost owner, you know, they're just, is that a Grey Ghost? It's not even, is that a Grey Ghost? It's, that's a Grey Ghost. I have one of those too. And, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of nice. It's, you know, I'm sure a lot of guys with their Tipmans will say, like, oh, yeah, you know, it's the same thing with Tipmans, but it's not. I have a Tipman. It's not the same. Everyone has a Tipman. 400 people have these. It's different. Um, yeah, so pump guns are, are a great alternative to... Uh, semi-automatic or the electro-pneumatic. Um, they can save you tons of money on air or, well, they save you tons of money on paint. Uh, I can go and play $5 paintball um, for three hours, you know? I just go buy a hundred paintballs and I pick my targets and I can play for three hours on five bucks. It's, it's amazing. Um, anyways, if anyone has any questions or Whatever is probably no one's even watching these. I don't know. <sighs> Something just rain across the roof. Um, yeah, have a good one, guys. See ya.